Yes, I have been sitting here paper crafting today, and believe it or not, I am, well, actually, I've been, no, today I've been paper crafting, but the last three days I have been crafting stuff for Christmas because I'm going to do 12 days of Christmas, and so I'm trying to get 12 DIYs done before November so I can bring them to you 12 in a row. Hello, everybody. So I'm going to say hi for a couple of minutes, and then we'll dive into this adorable DIY that I bring into you. It is a paper crafting uh, tissue holder that is so stinking easy, cute, adorable. It would make for a great stocking stuffer for anybody. You'll love it. Oh, and you know what? I forgot the tissue, so I'm going to have to have Kayla bring it to me. Hello to everybody. So, oh, Heather. I see Heather on there. Yay! I am going to be doing some fall crafts pretty soon. Bring Well, I've already done them, but I'll be bringing to, them to you pretty quick here. Okay, so Michigan, we've got from California. Lori loves paper crafts. I love it. Michaels did have a decent sale this week. Um, oh my goodness, hello to everybody. Oh my word. Oh, thank you all. Thank you all. I love it. You know, paper crafting is really one of my favorite pastimes. Terry Zachary is on. Hey, Terry. She's been a subscriber forever. It's so good to see you. And oh my goodness, it is just going like mad right now. There are so many on here right now and it's moving so fast. Hold on. Let me see what I got here. Okay. Alrighty, um, the girls are psing me. Where did her controller cord go? I gave her all of it. Okay, you need to go. Yeah, I gave her all of it together. Okay. Can you do me a favor? In my wicker drawers, you know the little tissue packs that are like this big. Can you bring me one? Yeah, the DIY I'm doing today. I need that. I had everything except for that. Okay, so the girls are going to play uh, something on the computer. I don't know. But, oh, yes, let's all hit the thumbs up, please. Oh, my goodness. So, hello to everybody. Thank you for joining me. I will tell you that I don't go live very often, but I have got a hot mess going on here on my desk in my office because it's the one area where I can set up and leave it for a while. Typically, I set up and break it down every day. But because this was a three-day weekend and I knew that I was going to be crafting Friday through Monday, I decided just to leave it up all weekends to save myself some time. And so um, I've got... Um, I have done, uh, Tiffany, I have done a video on uh, paper crafting tools for beginners and really everything you need you can get at the Dollar Tree. At the end of this stream, I will link it in the description box below, but if you leave before then, uh, you can just type in uh, Kelly Barlow Dollar Tree paper crafting tools and the video will come right up in the search engine of YouTube. And so, um, yeah, you know, um, um, you're going to have your stepmom on to cook more stuff. You know what? I, I will um, if it's safe. It's probably um, I, I, before the holidays. I can't say that I'm going to. Um, her and my dad have got a couple underlining health issues, not to mention that they're above 65. And so until um, this virus calms down out here, we're still in the epicenter of it. Um, we're still getting um, eight to 800 to 1,000 new cases a day. And uh, with Jeff and his line of work right now, it's just not safe for us to be around each other. And I wish that wasn't the case. But we were thinking about doing a, a cook-along where she gives me her recipe and I try to cook it and see what the outcome is and try to have her on FaceTime or Zoom or something to see how I'm doing. And so, um, yeah, um, thank you, thank you. Yes, Kayla brought me the tissues. We are doing um, a holder for these today. So stinking cute and it's so easy to do. Okay, so um, I just wanted to say hi to you all. Um, 
Oh, thank you, uh, Margo, for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, goodness, Barbara, it is you, Florida, and it's raining. It is, I will tell you right now, I think it's like 115 out here. Hold on, I'm going to look on my phone. Nope, right now it is 108 and unhealthy air quality because we are still having a lot of fires too. And so because it's so hot and I went to the Dollar Tree earlier and I could smell the smoke through my mask, I just thought, you know what, it's not even a day for Allison to be out swimming. And so we're just hanging out in the house um, trying to conserve some energy because they're saying that there may be rolling blackouts in my area because it's so hot. And so, yeah, 108, it's supposed to get up to 112 today. And so they're saying by three o'clock, okay, it's three o'clock my time now that it's, um, going to be up there. And so, um, it's 114 where you live. It's just so stinking hot when it's 75 in Pennsylvania. Wow. Nice weather. Um, are you and your hubby uh, getting any time together during this? You know what? I know that a lot of people have been worried about that. And I do want to say that we do um, spend time out in the backyard together. Um, you know, we're not sitting on each other's laps or anything. But um, we are. We, we eat outside at our table together just far away. I would say we're about 15 to 20 feet away. Um, we do sit out there when Allison is swimming and we listen to our country music. So it's not like we're not seeing each other and talking. Uh, we're just not um, sleeping in the same room together and, you know, living together. It, you know, he's 20 feet away from me in the motor home. And so when he goes out there, he'll text me, come on outside. Or when I go out there, I'll text him to come outside. When Allison wants to go out there, she'll text him to go out there. And there are times where he's swimming on one end of the pool and Allie's swimming on the other, but we just have to be safe because of Kayla. And so, um, you know, it, it is what it is. It's been five months of that. I'm not going to say it's not hard, but it could be worse, you know, and um, it, it, for better, for worse, sickness and health, good times and bad. And this isn't bad times in our marriage. It's bad times in life in general. And so we just kind of have to do what we got to do to um, stay safe. What does my hubby do? Um, my husband is an L.A. County fire captain. And so um he uh, he's coming in contact with COVID patients daily that call 911 and want to be taken to the hospital. And um, it is rough, um, Terry, it is. Um, I'm not going to lie, it sucks. But, you know, it, it's better than him having to stay in a hotel or go somewhere else. And so for that, I'm super thankful that we have the motor home. Um, you know, in the beginning, I think I thought that uh, the COVID patients were um, what we needed to worry about most. But really, it's now guys that he works with, other firefighters that are coming to work and are positive and don't know it and end up sick at work. And then Jeff has been in contact with them. And so it, I would say at least once a week, somebody at his station or a station that he's working overtime at um, he's coming in contact with, you know, it would be one thing if Jeff only worked at his station and worked with the same group of guys, but he doesn't. He works with different guys at different stations. So he is around a mass amount of people that are around their families and their families are around other people. And so because of Kayla and her pulmonary issues, we just can't take any chances. And so, um, you know, we're doing what we have to do and we're going to get through this and someday it's going to be over. And I, I tell Allie all the time, you're, you're part of history now. This is going to be history like the Spanish flu was or the plague. You know, someday her kids are going to be studying about COVID-19 and she's going to say she lived through the pandemic and so did her parents. And my grandkids are going to say my grandma was part of it. So, um, uh, Jeff doesn't have to deal with the riots. Um, we don't have any in our area, thank God. So we're lucky that way. Um, but for the most part, yeah, you know, 
it is what it is. We're all going to get through this. We just got to do what we got to do to keep our families healthy. And that could be different for everybody. And for my family, that's what we got to do. And so uh, we lived through Ray getting it and getting better. He still doesn't have his sense of smell and taste back. But you know what? It could be worse. And so that's what I say. Okay. Yes, us mamas have to keep the baby safe. And that is just all there is to it. If I'm being completely honest, I'm not worried about myself getting it. I, I'm really not. I'm not too worried about Allison getting it, but it's if Kayla gets it that I'm scared to death of. And I, I just don't want to see my daughter in a hospital with hooked up to tubes on life support. And so um, that's not a gamble I'm going to take. And so until this is over, we just got to do what we got to do and we'll get through it. And it'll make us stronger in the end. That's what I say. Okay. How you were going to ask how he was doing. Yeah, he is he, he's back at work and been back at work and hopefully, you know, he doesn't get it a second time if that's even a thing. So let's get to paper crafting. I have never done this live. I've never done it from start to finish like this. And so you're going to see all the behind the scenes stuff that you don't typically see when I'm filming and editing out all of the in-between stuff. And so it'll probably take a little bit longer than normal, but this is still a quick, easy, and budget-friendly DIY that the outcome is stinking cute. So I think you're gonna love it, and I thought I'd bring it to you. So I am going to click down to my hands because I got, I am so tech savvy right now. I'm so excited. I got cameras going and buttons, and yeah, this is gonna be fun. So let's get to doing some paper crafting on a budget, because why not? Okay, look at that. Ta-da! We have hands. Okay, so I will tell you real quick, if you all see this, um, oh my word, can I tell you that this is the worst hot glue gun burn I have ever gotten in my life. I, th during this stay at home, I've been DIYing a lot, so I got really badly burned on my hand here in the oven, and that took a while to heal. But this hot glue gun, Burn, oh my word, I'm going to show you a picture of it. It doesn't look bad. It, it just looks like a bad burn. And um, it is probably the, no, hands down. Let me just show you. This is, whoa, let me see. That is what my finger looks like. That is the burn. That is a huge, huge blister. I, oh, there's my ring light. Yeah, I have never had a burn that bad in my life. And um, it really is like the whole part of my finger. And um, I, Allie was talking to me and I looked up and I had the glue gun in my hand and I must have pressed the trigger while I was talking to her and straight from the glue gun onto my finger, it dripped. And um, yeah, I, I think I might have cussed because it hurt so bad. It hurt so bad that my head hurt. And I ran and stuck my hand under cold water because I knew I had to get the hot glue up off of my finger. And so, um, yeah, I screamed to the Almighty when I peeled the hot glue off my finger under the water. It, I, I think that there's nothing worse. It's one thing when you get burnt, but then when you're burnt and you have to peel the hot glue up off of the burn, that makes it even worse. And so for a while, you're gonna see this in a lot of videos because I think it's gonna take a while to heal. Um, yeah, it can burn you pretty bad. Okay. So here we go. So today I am going to be using one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And with this eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, you're going to get two tissue holders out of this because we're just going to cut this in half down the middle at four and a quarter because yeah, half of eight and a half is four and a quarter. And the decorative paper that I'm going to be using today is by Park Lane. I got this. It was on clearance. Let me just tell you that at Joann's, it was on clearance. I thought $7.47 was a good price for this paper stack. And the reason I thought it was a good price was because this paper stack is double-sided paper. So you're going to pay a bit more for double-sided paper than you would one-sided paper. But this is a great card stock. It's a heavy-duty, good quality. But it gets better because when I went to check out, it was really like $3 because it was 70% off. So I love it when that happens. And when I saw that that 
was the price. I was like, please hold. And I ran back and I got a whole bunch more of these paper stacks. I got one of each because at $3, you can't beat it. And I believe there's 34 sheets in this. And so, yeah, it's got a lot of fun um, paper in it. And so if I don't answer some of your questions, everybody, it's because I just want to kind of stick to the DIY while I'm doing it. And then I promise you that, um, wait, Sunday's gel lidocaine in your fridge. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. Burn hack. I saw burn hack and that caught my eye. Um, so, and then I'll answer a bunch of your questions um, after. And so this paper is just so, look, it's got farmhouse everything. So you can see why I gravitated toward, towards it. For this DIY, I will be using this in a world where you can be anything, be kind um, as an embellishment. And so I'm going to cut that out later. I think I'll pull this out now. And what's great when you get these paper crafts is you get these sheets that are just embellishments. You know, these really are meant to be used as embellishments when you're crafting. And so um, if you cut it out and just use the piece that you need, you can save all the rest. And so just be careful about it. I think that there is, um, oh yeah, this one has another sheet too that has these cards that are also double-sided and so we got two sheets of that. I don't think this one has any belly belts in it which are just the strips um, of paper that go across. Yeah, no, but it did come with solid cardstock in this stack too which is awesome. And oh, and then it's got this um, embossed paper too. It had a couple different ones. And so for this one I am going to be using this, I'm going to call it plaid as the decorative paper that goes on top of my cardstock. And then I'll be using this as an embellishment and I will be using some burlap flowers that I got in my subscriber mail last week. And so those are from Nancy. She got us some really fun items last week. And so, yeah, so let's get to paper crafting. Okay, so this is a new cutter that I just got at Walmart. My other cutter, I broke uh, the arm on it. So yeah, I needed a new one. So like I said, we are going to take our standard size 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. And this is the craft paper color, I guess, brown. And we are going to cut this at 4 and a quarter. And so with that, you will see that you will have two pieces to make two of this DIY. Okay, and so to score this, we are going to score it on the long side, which is the 11 and a half inch side. And we are going to score this starting at a half an inch. And then we're going to score it again at three inches at, did I do three? Yeah, three. And then four. And lastly, at six and a half. And that is it for scoring. And so with my bone folder, I can't zoom in on this also, I'm sorry. And so we are going to go ahead and fold in all of our scoring lines. And if you use a bone folder or Dollar Tree's pink piercing and scoring tool, it will work. This is just part of my Martha Stewart scoring board. So I use it. And we're going to fold in all of these lines. And this really does give you a nice flat fold. One that you don't really get when you use your finger. There we go. And as you can see, this is already starting to come together for our tissue. Isn't that easy? So stinking easy. Okay, so with this, before we put it together, I am going to cheat and I am going to use my circle cutter. This is not something you have to get. 
um, you can very easily, hold on, I'll show you. I think I have it in here. Where is it? I have, aha, yes, I have it. This is a great gadget, a compass, and you can do circles all the way up to, I believe, a six inch circle. And so that's a pretty big circle. And so for the bargain price of a dollar, you can make circles and you can do your circle just as such and you're gonna get, whoa, it would help if I held it, huh? You're gonna get a good circle that you can cut out. Whoa, there goes a fly, yuck. And so you can do it to any size and you can use an X-Acto knife to cut it out. And so, um, because I use a two inch circle all the time, because I make labels, my own labels and tags, it was something uh, that I invested in years ago and I've really gotten good use out of it. And so a cheater way to use this, because when you're using this, it is hard to see where you're lining up your circle. It can be hard to, am I centering it? Do I have it in the right place? Yeah, so if you just have one that you've punched out on your own and you just kind of hit it with a small piece of adhesive, you can place it, let me make sure I'm putting this on the right one, yes. If you have an oval one of these, you can use it. I don't have an oval one, so I'm using a round one. You can place your circle right where you want your cut to be. And um, then you can go ahead and turn it over to the back. And you can there. And you can see there that we've got the black circle there. And we're just going to go ahead and cut it. And there we go. Okay, and yes, I did cut a bit of this off, but that's okay. It's not going to show. Alrighty, so now before we put this all together, we are going to cut our decorative paper, which is this peach plaid here. And I think that that's going to go nicely with the craft colored paper. Let's see. Yeah, I was hoping too we wouldn't get a hot summer as well, but we did, didn't we? Okay, so we've had a couple um, spurts. The last time that we had a heat wave, um, our electricity kept going on and off, and it would only stay off for a couple of minutes, but it kept happening all day. Okay, so because our cardstock is four inches. I'm going to cut my decorative paper to, oh no, it's four and a quarter in inches. I'm sorry. I'm going to cut my decorative paper to four inches. And so the width of all my paper will be four inches and the length will be different for each. And so we're going to go up and down for the length. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my cardstock to four inches here. Allison is playing her game. If you can hear her yelling, I better tell her she needs to quiet down. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got four inches, we are going to cut a piece at three and one eighth. So that is two lines in after the three. And, oh, did I just move that? No, I didn't. And that is going to be four 
this top piece here. And then we need a piece at 2 and 1 8. And lastly, we need one at three quarters of an inch. There we go. And those are all the pieces that we need. And look at all the scrap paper that we have left for other paper projects. I mean, it really, you're using such a minimal amount of paper and the outcome and what you get is just amazing with just a little bit of paper crafting DIYing. And I know that some of you will tell me, Kelly, it is so confusing to me. That is way too detailed. And it really isn't. If you just pause the video and do it with me, get all your supplies out, run the video with me, stop and start as you need. It's you're going to have the same outcome, I promise. And so this is a tape gun that I get asked about a lot. This is called an ATG, short for Advanced Tape Glider. I got this at Michael's. I used a 50% off coupon and got it, I want to say, for maybe $15 or $20. You can find it on Amazon. I have a link to it in my Amazon store in the description box below. And it really does make taping when you do a lot of paper crafting easier. And the refills for the tape come in this two pack and these are $10 a piece, but when you use a coupon, you're getting it for five. So, I mean, one roll lasts a long time and you're getting two for $5. And so it's kind of worth it. Okay, so this first piece is going to go right up here, just like so. And then this piece here is going to go on the edge. Whoa. I have got some super cute paper crafting DIYs for you all for this holiday season that I think you're absolutely going to love. And so with this, I'm just going to kind of measure where I need the circle to be. And I'm going to cheat. And I'm just going to use a pencil to mark it. I feel like that is off. One side looks bigger than the other. I'm going to try this again. See what you don't see. My crafting goes the same way as everybody else's. It really does. I make mistakes. But that's why we use pencil. Okay, I just want to make sure it's lined up good back here. Okay, so we've got it there. Okay, that should be straight. And I feel like I just did the same circle. So it must be off on this. Okay, it is. Okay, then I'm going to take my circle punch oops, and line up my circle. Alrighty, and then this piece here, we can just put a little bit of adhesive. And there we go. So cute. I love it. Okay, so now we are going to fold this piece back. We're going to place some adhesive on this tab. And you want to be generous with your adhesive there. And we're going to 
and just close this up. Isn't that just so cute? Okay, look at that. Isn't that just adorable? I love that. Okay, and so let's see. Yeah, see, this is what that is going to be. Isn't that just so cute? I love it. Okay, but we're not done. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so to embellish this, we are going to cut... Oh, that homestead is super cute, too. I bet that would look really cute. No, I want to go with the be kind. I think that is the way we are going to go. And... Um, And I tell you, when paper crafting, I love it. It's something you can do in front of the TV, and it just makes the day go by. Nowadays, Allison is in her room all the time since I've redone her room. And uh, I'm just out here alone. Kayla's got her online schooling, and so I just hang out here by myself crafting all day doing some videos. Okay, so with this, I think we're gonna mat it and frame it just to give it some dimension. That seems like a good word to use, why not? And so I am going to use a corner rounder. This is a corner rounder that you can get at Hobby Lobby. I think I spent $2.29 for this. They've got larger ones too um, that round the corners a bit wider if you want, but this is just such a handy tool and I think that it really just kind of gives it a more finished look. And so I wish Dollar Tree would come out with one of these. I don't know why they don't have one, but when you look at it, I mean, just look at the difference in the corners. It just gives it a more polished look, I think. And so... Um, yeah. I don't know if you all can hear Allie. They're playing a game online called Fall Guy. And um, it's like obstacle courses. And it's just so funny to hear her. <laughs> oh, goodness. Kelly, when I get lonely during the day, just. You know what? That's what I, that's why I decided to go live today because I'm just sitting here today and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to go live. I've already got all my junk out everywhere and I've, I've got probably like 15 more DIYs, paper crafting DIYs that I've got to do for the holidays. I've got, yeah, I've done three of them. So there's 12 left and, um, you know, those are just kind of filler videos that I like to place in between my Dollar Tree DIYs, the bigger DIYs that I do. And so today I just thought, like, why not? I'm going to go live. I've never done this before. And we'll see how it goes. And so, yeah, that's what brings us here today, Terry. Okay, so I'm not great at cutting um, straight lines. And so I'm going to use my cutter for this. If it was a smaller piece, I probably wouldn't have, but it would have come out crooked. We'll do them live. I will sit right here. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Yes, take advantage of the tape sales. I am going to round these corners too, because why not? Because I like it. And see, I feel like it just gives it a more finished look when you put this mat. You know, it makes it look like an embellishment, I think. You know what? There was one other thing that I wanted to put on here. Oh, my word. Would you look at that? Malfunction. I did not look at that before I did it. What? See, it does happen to me. I can't use that. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
I don't like it. Ooh. Do I want to use Farm Fresh maybe? Okay, so this is going back in the book. Wah, wah, wah. That's a bummer. I love that saying. But the tissue holder, I just don't like it. That doesn't work. Nope, 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 nope. So I think I am going to go with, I can't do Lib Simply because that's going to be just as big. I could probably go with one of these little dually dads. Let's see. What am I in the mood for? Uh, I kind of like the Farm Fresh. I think that would go cute with it. Kind of contrast it. Uh, yes, save for another project. Okay, so I'm going to go with the cow. Because why not? See, these are things, all the things that I iron out before I bring you the DIY. And sometimes I gotta laugh when you all tell me that you make it look so easy. It goes so smooth for you. Yeah, not always. But I mean, that's the fun of it, right? Because I don't want to ruin any of these other um, embellishments. I am going to use, maybe I'm not. Oh my word, I don't have a razor. Okay, well, we're just going to have to really be careful. Or no, I'm going to cut straight across. I was going to just cut it with a razor, but no, my cutting is really bad. And I don't want to ruin that. Yeah, this is what you get when you go live with me, y'all. <laughs> Yes, this is it. This is the real deal. Okay, there, that's better. Okay, love the bloopers. Well, yeah. Okay, there we go. And then, you know what? I was thinking I really liked this happy place, and I thought this is going to fit there. I know it. Yes, happy place. Or should I put, no, I'm going to put country life to go with the cow because the color goes with the cow. So happy place will go with the other embellishment. Okay, I'm seriously still gonna cut this again because these are good little tags. Is it straight? Okay, that's straight. There we go, got it. Ha! I am going to make this look good yet. I promise. Okay, there we go. And so all we need to do, oh, look at my cutters going dull. Oh, I didn't see this. Something tells me I'm going to love you. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay. So with this, I don't really want the triangle on it. I don't like it. So I'm just going to cut straight across. There we go. And to make it even, oh, that is not even even. See that? There we go. And then I'm going to cut a little bit off of that side. Oh my word, Allison is so stinking loud in there. My word. I'm going to tell Kayla. Kayla, I know you're on Discord with her. Can you tell her just to keep it down a bit? She is so stinking loud. I think everybody on YouTube hears her. There. Mom life, right? Okay, so here we have these. Where did that scrap paper go? Oh, yeah, we don't have a second piece to make our other thing because I'm using it right now. Ha! <laughs> okay, so we are back to square one. And my table is a mess. Here we go. We're going to round these corners. Deja vu. Didn't we do this already? I thought we did. Okay, I don't think these corners were round good, but should I try? Let's try. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. 
huh, you never know until you try. See, don't be afraid to make mistakes, because sometimes, look at that looks way better. I had another piece that I could have cut out if I messed up, so. There, that looks so much better than the square. I like that. It's those little things that kind of, yeah, she is, <laughs> Dorothy, she is having fun and not pestering me. Her, her and Kayla are having a lot of fun right now. Okay, so yeah, we're going to, I was debating if I wanted to add some foam to this. I think I'm going to add some foam to the back of this just to elevate it off of the mat a bit. And so when doing that, I think, again, it adds dimension. And then we'll just set this flush up against the back piece here. Okay, that's fun. I like that. And then we will round it and make a cool band-aid there. Yeah. I think I own stock in these Nexacare band-aids because I have really had fun burning myself the last five months that I've been staying at home. You know what? I better make sure. Seriously, I'm not happy. I'm not going to frame this. I'm not. I'm glad I checked because then it would just be too big. So do I want it off to the side? Hold on. Please hold. Because we need to see the flowers on it. Burlap flowers. Ooh, I love those. There is nothing more me than that. Okay, so if I stick it in the middle, negative. I think I'm going to set it off to a side. Oh, yeah, there's only one flower that's going to fit there. Okay, so this is going on. Do I want it on that side or do I want it on that side? I like that side better. Okay, so one flower today. And this is going to go right like so. Oh, that's better. Okay, and then we are going to pull out the hot glue gun for this. Oh, look at that. It's already hot. This thing is not nice. Okay, and this is going to go right there because burlap and farm and cow, it all goes together. And this piece here is going to go right there. There we go. Oh yeah, blue looks really cute with this color, with this plaid. There we go. Look at how easy that is and the outcome, oh my word. Okay, so what color will go in there? Wow, okay, we're just gonna have to go with Oh my word. Okay, we're taking it out of the pouch. That's all there is to it because it doesn't match. This would be cute for like a little desk. You know, that's what I think. Oh, look at that. Oh my word, how fun and cute is that? I mean, really, I, I love these. Tell me, what do you all think? Yes, I think it's so fun. Oh my goodness, I love that. This would be perfect for, I definitely think, like a desk or something. And then you could just pull your tissue out gently. Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. How fun is that? You could really just make these for everybody. I think that that is such a fun little DIY and it's easy to do, budget friendly. And really it took us longer because why not? We're not in a hurry today.
I think that was fun. What do you think? Going to make one for my sister's office? Yes, farm fresh cute. Yes, this is super. I think that this was a fun little DIY to bring to you live. It didn't take long and the outcome is adorable. I was gonna bring this to you in a video and it was really the next DIY that I was getting ready to film today and I just said, heck, I'm gonna go live because I'm bored and somebody needs to keep me company. I have a lampshade frame and need an idea to transfer it to Christmas decoration. Can I do a tutorial on it? Hmm. Maybe you can send me a picture of it on Facebook so I can see what it is that we'd be working with. Those would be great for nursing home residents. Yes, or even people in your office. Like if you work in an office, you can gift these. Um, and what's great is like, really, it comes in an eight pack. You get eight of them. I think these are like $1.99 at Walmart and you get eight of them. And so for $2 and some paper, look at how cute that is. I mean, it's just adorable. It's a fun little thing. I always put these tissues in Christmas stockings anyway. Why not? Yes, that looks like a gift. I agree. Wedding favors is another fantastic idea. Instead of the cow, you could put uh, the bride and groom's name and wedding date. That would be awesome. Oh, Heather, thank you, honey. Heather, did you make it to the Dollar Tree to get any of that buffalo check or the fall stuff? I know you were liking it. I was wondering. For your school bus? Oh, be safe, okay? On the school. You can get eight for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Can you? I, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree, but I don't know if I've seen them in an eight pack. But that's probably the better buy. Good night from Ireland. Thank you for joining me, Francis. Thank you, thank you. Oh, some fabric would be super cute too. Everybody needs tissue at a wedding. You're right. You are so right. Okay. Terry, was that you asking about the frame? You're going to send me a picture when I'm done. All right. Looking for ideas to send to the kids away at college. Um, I've got some cute paper crafting DIYs that are coming up for Starbucks and gift cards that you are not going to want to miss every year. I think I'm going to, last year I started uh, making some paper crafting gift card holders. And so, but I brought them to you like a week before Christmas and that wasn't super smart. I think I, uh, Christmas stuff out. Mine doesn't have Christmas stuff out yet. But um, anyway, back to the cards. Um, yeah, so last year I didn't time it really good, but this year I'm going to bring you some um, DIY gift card holders that are so stinking cute. You're going to love them. Some really cute gift ideas. Um, not only are they gift ideas that are DIYs using Dollar Tree items, but after I bring you the DIY, I'm going to bring you a gift packaging idea using paper that you can craft to put that handmade, homemade touch that just to add to it. You already DIY'd a gift, but you're going to add to it by packaging it with a paper craft. So it'll be a part one and a part two. And that's the series that I'm actually working on over this four day uh, holiday weekend now. And so I think it's going to be a fun one that I'm really excited to bring to you because for those who really love those Dollar Tree DIYs, I'm still going to be bringing you those. And for those of you who love paper crafting, the next video will be a paper crafting video that goes right along with it. And so, um, yeah, I'm excited about it. So, um, going to do some into a stocking right on. Yep. Just get yourself. I say, um, just a notebook, you know, this is, I tell you, this is the notebook that I use. This is my new one. These are by Pen and Gear from Walmart. You get them for 50 cents. And I put all of my paper crafts. I've probably got three of these that are full. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll make a template of it. Like I did here. This was the template today. And then, um, I'll just kind of fold it up. And when I, and I don't put it together, I just have the template 
that I've cut and it's all folded and I'll fold it up and I'll tape it to a page in the book before I have all my measurements and instructions. And so that way I always have my paper crafting DIYs. I always know how to do them. And when I'm bored or I need a gift idea, I can open up my notebook and kind of go through it and look for one that is suiting for the occasion that I need it for. And so do I crochet? Yes, I do. I love to crochet, but I don't knit. Um, I, I've knitted before and it was just really hard for me. But yes, I crochet. I love it. Something that I love to do when I'm sitting at home. Rain. Paper crafting is your passion. Nice. All righty, everybody. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does anybody have any questions that they want me to answer before uh, we cut this live feed off? I just, I appreciate you all joining me today for this live feed. If you all want to see more live feeds like this once in a while, let me know in the comments below and I'll bring you some paper crafting live feeds because those are easier to bring live than a Dollar Tree DIY because Dollar Tree DIYs have so much entailed in them and a lot of time it has to do with drawing and whatnot and so those are kind of hard to bring to you live but the paper crafting ones I can most definitely. Um, you want to see more cooking from me? My daughter started oh embroidering I think. Okay well we can most definitely do that. Um, Kathleen is going to send me some recipes. Um, I've got, what? I just did one. What did I do the other day? I did some recipe and now I'm drawing a blank on it, but it was really good and it was really yummy and I've got it filmed and oh my word, this is called sleep deprivation. Oh, thank you all for joining me. It was fun and um, it gave me something to do for an hour here on a Sunday. And once I get off with you all, I'm going to go back to working and busting out some of these videos and recording them. So I have them when the holidays come that I can bring to you. I would love to know the measurements of the box. The measurements of this box, I will tell you all again real quick. It is one piece of cardstock that measures out at four and a quarter by 11. And on the 11 inch side, you are going to score it at, I'm looking at my paper, you're gonna score it at a half inch, three inches, four inches, and six and a half inches. And um, the decorative paper measured out, the three pieces that you're gonna need are one at three and one eighth by four inches, another one at two and one eighth by four inches, and the third one is three and a quarters by four inches, and um, make yourself a circle. School supplies are 50% off at Walmart right now, so you can get one of these handy little hole punchers by, um, yeah, Pen and Gear, and this is a good one to have on hand. I've used this a lot in my last couple paper crafting videos. It's just a regular size one, but it's just handier. I think it works better than those metal ones that you squeezed together. And so, yeah. Yes, I think it's fun to be able to interact with you as well, Helen. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, oh, the name of the paper pack. Okay, you wanna see the name of the paper pack again? Okay, so this is the paper pack. This is by here, let me go down. It's easier if I go down on my hands. Okay, so it is by Park Lane, and it is the Americana version. And um, I'll show you the other one that I got. Hold on real quick. This was today's paper crafting. You can see the plaid there. And then I just picked this one up as well from Michaels. And this one is by Recollections. And this is a double-sided paper as well. And of course I went for it because it's got all the browns and tans in it. And so I just love those colors. I really gravitate toward browns, tans, all those earth tones. But yes, this was another fun one. I got four other ones that are in the garage that I'll show you guys at a later date. But for now, this was the pack that I used today, and I am excited to uh, maybe bring you guys another paper crafting DIY here in uh, 
the near future, because why not? They're fun. I think they are. Anyway, um, hold on. Oops, something went funky. Okay, there we go. Well, everybody, thank you all for joining me. Um, make sure to give this a big thumbs up. And like I said, if you want to see more paper crafting DIYs, leave me a comment in the comments below because I always go off of your feedback. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy paper crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and Bye for now, everybody.